Hello guys, today I will tell you a little uh, about uh, my way of growing figs in cold climate. This movie uh, is especially for you who are struggling with short uh, season and uh, with main crop uh, be ready on time. Uh, I hope it will be useful for you. Uh, we are in Poland, uh, in quite cold climate, in a zone between 6a and 6b, so not easy for figs, uh, you can believe, but they are doing very well here. Um, I have uh, both crops, so um, I hope that it's worth to sharing uh, my way. You should also know that I have 12 varieties, but they are quite uh, young, uh, from 0 to 6 years old, so I'm not very experienced in figs, um, and I'm le I am learning mainly from my figs. And this is why, uh, don't be surprised if my recommendations are a bit different than uh, what you can usually can hear or read about growing figs in, in north in cold climates but it it is just what uh, works for me and that's why i share this way uh, so i will tell you today about uh, a few topics uh, pruning uh, f uh, new shoot selection uh, winter protection and uh, least, uh, last but not least, uh, the pinching. Uh, okay, so let's start with uh, uh, with maybe some basic information about figs. Uh, figs are growing um, fruits only on the last year wood, so you can see. Uh, uh, this part of the branch here, it's the last year wood, and these figs are breba fig. Today it's uh, mid of June, so we have quite nice breba here. Um, especially if you know that my figs are starting very well, uh, late to grow. In the beginning of May I have first teeny leaves on my figs, so this fix was growing only in May. In the beginning of May it was only a bud here. Uh, so all this uh, size of this fix grow in May. Uh, and uh, fix also have fruits on uh, this year um, uh, grow and it's always uh, green. On the end of the season it, it gets brown of course but uh, now, in the late spring, as it is in Poland, it's still green. And uh, here, in every node, on the base, on every leaf, you can expect the main crop. And uh, that's all. Fix do not fruit on the older wood. Uh, so it's quite important information for you, because it's usually recommended that in north, in uh, cold climate, you should have all the wood and you should keep as old wood as possible because it's more resistant to frost, the main crop is better, figs are growing faster and, um, and stronger on the uh, uh, last wood, figs are more tasty on last wood. But to be honest and to be short, this is not true for me. My fix have different opinion on this topic and I will explain it and show it to you. So this, this one is Peretta. It's uh, five years old and all branches you can see here is last year branches only. I am trying to just keep on my trees the wood uh, which is fruiting and nothing more. Uh, my goal is to have small uh, plants but plenty of them here i i do not have plenty of space so i need to squeeze my fix my let's say collection <laughs> to the small area i want to have plenty of different kind of fruits but as i don't want them to take me so much uh, place that's why uh, i'm growing um, like that and the another reason is that um, I do not want 
uh, have any uh, construction about my fix to protect you know big tree it's uh, I just want to have it easy without any excessive labor quick and easy uh, uh, winter wintering the fig and um, the fair, fair reason is I uh, want uh, have both crops but uh, my main goal is main crop uh, okay so as I mentioned, this all branches are last year branches. In the middle, you can see freshly new shoots, uh, this year shoots, and uh, I also, uh, only for comparison, I also sometimes keep old branches. And uh, you can see old branch here. It's a four or five years old branch. Just to compare. Uh, uh, which fix uh, prefer to grow on the last year wood or on the old wood and maybe let's start from this comparison um, the the size of leaves are here quite small the growth is very tiny this year growth and uh, we have no breba here and comparing to the last year uh, branch, we have breba. The leaves are at least four, uh, four times bigger than my hand, and it's the same on every branch. And uh, breba is also very nice, as we already saw. Mm, but this is the one variety peretta. We can also uh, check the situation on the brown turkey. It's a six years old brown turkey, very popular here in Poland for our cold climate. And uh, we also have uh, the newest branches in the middle, the green shoots. We have from the last year some last, uh, 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 last year branches, one year old exactly right now. So one year um, ago they were just green shoot like you can hear. It's only one year growth here. And again to just compare we have uh, the five or six. Yeah, I think this year it will be six years old branch. Um, again just to compare what my fix prefer to grow on the uh, young uh, branches or to old branches. And let's see. The leaves, not very impressive. The grow, it's not very impressive again. And uh, the fix, we have breba here, nice. But only we have two brebas. They are not big, but they have still uh, some time. So definitely they will ripen uh, because it's mid-June, so plenty of time still. Uh, but I think it can be much better. So let's see the newest, the the one-year-old branches. The growth you can see it's much much bigger. One here the same. The size of the fig is also bigger. The fig number it's also much bigger. Uh, on the every branch, I do not show you maybe every single branch, but believe me, they are quite nice. And this is last year branch from the bottom. Whole branch is last year branch. That's why we can also have fix uh, in the base of the branches. If you have old branches, uh, you have almost no chance to have fix uh, in the lower path unless they start uh, putting some some side uh, growth here uh, okay so but usually uh, you have uh, uh, fruits only on the end of uh, old branches and or uh, you can have uh, fix on the whole length of new uh, the last year branches if uh, if we're thinking about the breba so okay mm. Um, and my system uh, of uh, um, cutting is uh, like previously mentioned 
I would remove all the branches here. On the end of the season, all these branches with fruits will be removed and only and replaced with only few branches from the middle. And I usually left for six years uh, old fig. I usually left six uh, new shoots. For two years figs, I usually left two shoots, and so on. So the number of shoots depends on the age of fig. Okay, hmm. as you can see, figs prefer to grow to new, uh, new branches. So I don't really see a point to keep all the wood on the figs. Also, you should know that uh, even the main crop on the old branches, I can't see really any difference with uh, a fig size, fig taste, or um, time of ripeness. They are ripening the same time, and I can't see any difference. And even I have much bigger problem to have uh, the main crop on this fix because, as you know, main crop is on the new growth, and the new growth here is much uh, smaller than here. So the amount of um, hmm, uh, the main crop fix will be also bigger on the new branches. So really, I don't know why everybody recommend to keep all branches. I do not that. Just to comparison to, my, to, to myself be sure that I'm uh, that it's the best what I can do for my fix. Okay, so hmm, um, maybe uh, we can change the subject to winter protection. Uh, but the last things I need to say about um, pruning is the date. And it's exactly the same date for me, uh, like for winter protection. Uh, it's usually in the late December, so I wait very late with uh, uh, protecting my figs for winter because I want them to get dormant, to feel the weather. They should know that they are not on Maldives uh, or Caribbean, so uh, I wait to they lift all leaves. They even left the uh, the newest, the smaller, uh, smallest figs. If they don't. I just remove them uh, and for winter uh, I have on I will have only a few shoots from the middle uh, and uh, it's easy very easy to cover them for me because uh, my way to wintering the fix is just to I hope I'll show you uh, to um, use such a steel from the a la very old tent and squeeze them mm, just squeeze them to the ground completely flat uh, and cover them with soil about 20 cm of soil or of sand uh, or compost bark uh, on the top I usually get uh, I will put the leaves from my garden and of course there are no leaves on the branches, no fruits. I have just a few straight uh, branches here to cover. So it took me really a few minutes to, to bound all my, uh, to the ground, all my um, uh, plants. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And of course I told you that it's usually late December, but to be honest, I always, uh, see for forecast we have very different seasons every year so I always uh, look on the forecast and if it's um, in the forecast the frost below minus 10 Celsius or 15 Fahrenheit I, I believe um, uh, I will cover them not not sooner just let them <laughs> a little cold uh, okay, so and I uncover them also very very early. So if uh, mm, the same threshold, uh, if the uh, the the frost uh, um, below minus 10 Celsius are gone, I just uncover them, and I do not use any additional protection 
uh, until next winter. So all the springs, they are uncovered. Uh, and uh, please remember that we have very light, uh, late uh, spring frost here, even in the second half of May. So uh, still, I do not cover them in the spring anymore. Uh, and of course, sometimes I can lose some leaves and it depends on how strong the growth is. If a fix only mm, have uh, two or, or one fresh uh, leaves in, in the May and it, f it froze, uh, damaged it, it's uh, lost, it's not big. But if the uh, fix is waken up very early, you can lost. Uh, bigger um, uh, part of the plant uh, but of course uh, the spring frost it's uh, uh, do not uh, do any damage to to the branches itself only to the green parts of the plant uh, and this is why uh, i want my fix to uh, start growth to um, as late as possible because uh, my loss during the spring frost will be uh, less huge. This year uh, we have also such uh, frost in May, but Braba survive as you can see. The plants also with no damage. Only I think uh, two plants uh, was hurt a little bit, and it was just this tiny. Um, Cereto. It was damaged, but you can see now in the mid of June, uh, it's already recovered and growing um, quite nice, like such such small and sensitive uh, plant. All the rest are growing uh, without uh, visible damage, and um, the winter protection is uh, doing so well for me that you should know that. Uh, um, even freshly rooted plants I put on the ground, directly on the ground. That's why I do not have anything in pots and I don't see the reason to have it. Um, and again here I just uh, uh, squeeze them to the ground, cover with soil and that's all. And you can see that uh, they survive even they are so young. So this is what works for me. Um, mm, okay. Uh, what uh, else I should tell you fast now? Maybe let's uh, talk a little bit about winter protection to make them even easier. Uh, you can grow the fix in rows. Uh, like here, you can see one here, one here, one here. And... Uh, mm, uh, you can also uh, cover them together. I don't know if you can see anything, but I put the branches together and cover them with soil together. So I have only one row of uh, soil here and the uh, second half of the plant is covered together with another fix. And uh, three fix are covered in very uh, less amount of of soil and of of material and they are uh, sleeping together <laughs> through the winter okay so i think it can be useful for you mm. of course the spacing should be bigger here but you know <laughs> never mind but i do not recommend to have uh, so crowd in your fix but you know i'm mm, prune heavily and i like pruning so Maybe I can handle it. Anyway, <laughs> shoots, uh, I can maybe uh, show you how you can remove some shoots. For example, here, of course, shoots uh, should be removed as uh, fast as possible. Here, it's too crowded. Only I need here only six fruit because it's six years old so let's see how I remove them that's like that nothing complicated really 
and of course I should left only six but maybe not now to be a little faster this movie it will be it anyway too long so let's move to um, to pinching it's very important I think it's the most important thing you should know about fix uh, uh, it's pinching because uh, this is what helps you to have main crop on time of course strength growth is very important we will back to it maybe but um, even if you um, do not prune your figs or um, you have different shape tree or bush or anything you want uh, you still can use pinching and should you use pinching in cold climate or in case of figs which are uh, in case of fix which are need very long time to be ripened uh, okay so even in pots it can be useful so uh, let's show you pinching I have already pinched my fix most of them and uh, you can see here that uh, maybe somebody noticed that top growth is removed and this is called pinching oh now you can see and every top growth is removed i also removed side growth mm, uh, on the branch if i have any side growth like here it's also removed my goal is to uh, sometimes i will left only these new shoots which i want them to grow very strongly this fig is quite old the the middle mm, the new shoots will be growing very crazy anyway so I can pinch them and uh, when I do it I usually uh, remove sorry for focus I usually remove uh, the tip with the newest the smallest leaves of course you should uh, use the gloves for that um, because this soap can be very irritating for your skin okay let's move on so uh, uh, I, I usually have double buds in every knot on this plant because I'm pruning them very easy and the most important thing to uh, uh, when pinching is um, to learn how to recognize double buds on your feet so you should search them on the new green growth and in the spring only uh, uh, because later it will be too late for this treatment so let's see what we are looking for we need such double buds and always if you have double buds always one of them is for fix and one of them is for leaves and the new branch and if the uh, if the bud is younger it's more difficult to recognize if it's double so the higher buds they are more squeezed together as you can see here so it's not so easy to recognize if it's single oh sorry or if it's double but i can't focus on it so it's quite light and dark so forgive me for uh, not focusing it so well but maybe we, I can show you also on the second uh, variety, the double buds. This is the young one on the... Mm, oh, it's beautiful to see that it's shared already. And the lower one on brown turkey. Okay, I think you know. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't show you the... The single bud, maybe here we can search because all my figs have double buds. Even here, it's not very clear, maybe for you, but it's double buds. You have, you can see two tops. So it's very important. Please practice and recognize it. And uh, oh, it's not. I think it can be helpful for you to see uh, how it will look later. You can see that here we had two, two buds and one was 
for a branch and one was for a fix. And the same will be with our uh, buds for main crop. Okay. Hmm. And if you know what you can set it, uh, you can pitch your fix only if you have double buds here and only if it's good time of the year. So for cold climate, it's very early. For example, in my case, I believe the deadline is about, you never know, but it's about <laughs> mid of June. So exactly right now, it's the last call for me. For example, that's why you can see that most of my fix are already pinched. And that's why I'm recording this movie for you to, to, to help you and to remind you that please now pinch your fix. Uh, and uh, hmm, and why is the middle of June? Because after this uh, uh, pinching, uh, fix will uh, s will have stopped to grow. Uh, usually, I recommend to pinch almost all branches, uh, except for example the new young, if you want them to grow very big. But uh, when a fix still is spring and uh, you um, remove all the grow to uh, uh, tips, uh, you the fix have no choice and need to uh, start the growth from the side dormant buds. Uh, and uh, as you saw before, it will be new branch and new fix usually from every every notes of leaves if you have double uh, buds here as i have and what what can you do if you do not have double buds and you have only branches growing from from the base of the leaves usually you uh, the fix should have more sun more pruning if you can have very nice big growth it almost almost always you have double buds here on the very uh, good grow and th this is another myth that uh, uh, big uh, grow is against uh, fruiting completely opposite in fix it's not working this rule um, now you even know why i need so big grow because middle of june it's very early and uh, my my main crop depends on how much I have on the mid of June how how long this uh, this new growth is because all above you uh, there will be plenty of branches above the uh, above the pinching and they will be growing and they will have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, new fix also but they will be uh, waken up and started too late, per perhaps. So all my crop, uh, rip and crop, will be taken from this part of my fix. Of course, on every branch. So that's all. And when you shouldn't do pinching also. Single buds, too late, or if you have already on the gro green grow, if you have already small figlets, small figs, few millimeters even, it's enough. If figs already ha uh, itself started to grow the figs, you shouldn't pinch them. And I can even, oh, I can show you this. I have one fix which started on time because usually for me, figs do not start on time. I need to help them. But here you can have example when the fix already started. Even here, this bud, you can see that it's a little sw swollen already. And here you uh, can see uh, the fix. And you can also see that this branch is not pinched. I left the top growth here. So um, there is no any need to pinch them if uh, this fig is so fast. Uh, for, for growing for health uh, so and you can see that always check the fix on the uh, green new growth okay let's see here oh, oh here I have one um, two years old fig which were 
planted last year. Uh, so first winter after in ground survived, and uh, we uh, we can quickly also pinch uh, this fig because it's really last call to do that. Of course, breva is already here, and we do not need anything uh, with breva because. I have uh, plenty of time, already started very early, but we should pinch all the tips to promote starting with uh, with main crop from the from this uh, though also double buds here. So I love growing fixed in ground because we usually have so many nutrition, so many water in ground. Uh, that they really want to uh, have uh, plenty of figs uh, without any extra watering or uh, I do not uh, uh, use fertilizer only once a year as all my plants uh, uh, I give them some food but I do not nothing else with my figs they are really not demanding plants and very strong uh, if just you uh, help them a little bit. Okay, so the last thing about pinching uh, you should know, it's some uh, bad side effect that uh, after pinching you should expect plenty of side growth here. Because uh, mm, figs uh, will be started together with new branches and will be plenty of them on the top because we we remove it, uh, the main growth, so it will be replaced with plenty tiny growths. It's not good effect, as, in, uh, as I mentioned you, uh, because the the less amount but um, more healthy strong growth is better, according to me. But in my case, this is completely no no difference because remember, I will remove this branch on the end of the season, so. The way he is growing is completely not important for me, uh, and I also do not expect fruiting above. I think it took a bit late. I only need this fix from here. But if you have, uh, if you want to uh, continue strong growth after pinching, uh, there is also some easy solution to to have that. For example, this branch. I want them to grow very slowly straight and I, I want to keep them for the next year but from every single bud uh, the new growth will be growing so it will be very pushy and not nice for me but as I uh, noticed the, the new branches I remove them all I left only fix and only one growth uh, the higher one and uh, I checked it already, so figs are growing very strong, very nice after such a treatment. I can you quickly show also here what you can expect. Here you can see that uh, the tip was broken, not by me, but by nature, by winter probably, I don't know. And uh, we, you have this effect here that every node put one fig and one branch and it's plenty of tiny branches here, not one uh, strong or two, but you can remove them. Of course, it is better to remove them earlier, but you, now you, I would recommend to keep, for example, two to this the strongest and the highest uh, growth, for example, uh, with good direction for you growing. So maybe this and this as you want, you can keep as you want and the fix will continue. Uh, allowed her to to grow. Uh, okay, I think it was the most important things. I try to be hurry, but <laughs> sorry for that. Sorry for my English. I hope it will be useful for you. Mm, don't be afraid of pruning figs. Uh, please share with anybody who might need uh, this information. Good luck with your figs weave your crops hmm. anything else i need, need i think that's anyway plenty of information 
Okay, so let's I will say goodbye with my pow pow. Goodbye guys, have a nice crop.